if you're a woman over 40 and you are looking to lose weight for the last time you are in the right spot welcome to the shape it up over 40 podcast my name is nicole simonin and i'm your host and we all know that we need to move more and eat less but why don't we do it i give clients the skill sets they need through fitness nutrition and most importantly mindset because that's the missing piece to all this so if you've tried a ton of diets and are still looking for the latest and greatest 12-week workout program and still haven't seen results it's the mindset part that is missing for you so when you become a client you will not just learn how to lose a weight but you're gonna learn how to keep it off for life I hope you will enjoy this podcast and when you're ready to lose the weight for the last time head over to shapeitupfitness.com and schedule your strategy session where possibility starts and results begin Hey everybody, welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. My name is Nicole Simonin and I am your host today, as in every day. And today we are talking about knowing your body type to get fit faster. So this is really important when people are looking at generic fitness programs and trying new things and wondering why certain programs work for some people and other programs don't work for you. A lot of times when you're looking at these generic workouts, they're they're just not des- they're designed for a certain person in mind, and that could be an age frame, that could be a a, um, a body type, that could be an athletic type. So what I'm diving into today is to really figuring out what your body type is can help you get fit faster. And there are three different body types that are classifications, but that does not mean that you are quote unquote stuck with whatever your dominant body type is. So if you look around at other people and you will, I hope, notice that none of us look exactly the same. We, there's tall people, you know, some people have longer arms, some people have shorter legs. We all have a different body type but there are three types of body classifications that we generally fall into. So the first type that I'm gonna talk about is the ectomorph body type. So these are the people we love to hate. (laughs) This is the friend who can pretty much eat whatever and however much food that they want and they never seem to gain any weight. The typical characteristics are long and lean muscles with naturally slender arms and legs they tend to have a very fast metabolism. The ectomorphs make for great endurance athletes, marathon runners, ballet dancers, and runway models. An out of shape ectomorph tends to hold their body fat in their abdominal region and right on top of their hips. For the ectomorph looking to get in better shape, they are gonna want to make sure that they're eating enough healthy foods and hitting the weights, the dumbbells, resistance training. So if you're an ectomorph, you can tolerate more carbohydrates so you can ditch those low carb diets and focus on getting those macronutrients just right. You will not need a ton, if any, of cardio. Your body metabolizes quick naturally, so you don't need a lot of cardio. Weight training is going to be key, so you wanna make sure that you have the right program designed for you. It will take you longer to build muscle and hold on to it because of your high metabolism, but stay on course, it will happen. Second body type we're gonna talk about is the mesomorph body type. This body type is ideal for getting lean quick. Mesomorphs are naturally muscular and athletic. Mesomorphs physicality are typically what people are looking for when they say they want to be lean and toned. Mesomorphs make great gymnasts, fitness models, and sprinters. Again, this doesn't mean you may not have some body fat to lose. Mesomorphs generally hold body fat all over, which is good because that's how it will come off all over. If you remember the podcast I did a while back talking about where your primary fat storages come from and and how the body pulls the body fat, um, go check out that podcast. I'll leave it in the show notes because I honestly don't remember which episode it is, but definitely go check that out if you want some information on how your body fat is burned off as you work out. The mesomorph generally does well with a muscle building program and a moderate cardio program. The goal here is to take advantage of that quick building muscle response 
that the mesomorph has, and doing moderate cardio will help keep the body fat in check. Mesomorphs have a moderate tolerance to carbohydrates, and to preserve their lean muscle mass, they will need to keep their protein up. The third body type is the endomorph. The endomorph is naturally broad and thicker in stature. This body type does well with power lifting and crew. Endomorphs tend to have a slower metabolism and do not tolerate carbs well. They will need to keep a watchful eye on carbohydrates. Endomorphs will carry extra body fat in the chest, the waist, and the hips. This type of person would do very well with a structured weight training program and a balanced cardiovascular program to help them gain lean muscle while decreasing their body fat. Is it possible to be all three body types? So when you're born, you fall into one of the body type categories. So I want you to think of the body types as a sliding scale. So on one side, you have the ectomorphs, right? They're the thin, usually thinner people who can eat a lot of food and they have a very high metabolism. Then on the other end are the endomorphs. These are the people that have a hard time losing weight. These are the people that probably are saying, when I look at a donut, I gain 10 pounds. So they are on either ends. And then in the middle is the mesomorph. And this is the more muscular um, body type. So if you're born into an endomorph, which is the person who is typically heavier, and you eat healthy and work out, you can change from an endomorph into a mesomorph. So you can go from someone who is heavier and then turn into a more muscular version. And then on the other end, you can be really lean and naturally thin and have a high metabolism. And if you have the right program in place, you can gain some muscle and become more of a mesomorph. So the mesomorph is right in the center. So the answer to my question is no, you cannot be all three body types, but you can kind of meet in the middle. So an endomorph can become a mesomorph, but an endomorph cannot become an ectomorph, which is interesting because a lot of people feel like the body type that they were born in, they're just stuck in, and that is not true. So when you hear someone or yourself complaining because you're overweight, because it's quote unquote genetics, and that is only partially correct. So you can tweak your genetics. So make sure you have a fitness program that is designed and tailored for you, and you will never have to blame your genetics again. This is what I do for my clients. I figure out what body type they are. I take in consideration what they like and what they don't like and what results they want to have. And I custom design a whole workout program for them. We go through nutrition and most importantly, we dive into mindset. And having your mind in the right spot is going to make weight loss so much easier. So if you're interested in finding out more, you can head to shapeitupfitness.com and get more information. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's podcast and I will talk to you next week. If you are looking for quick and easy meals to put together that have minimal cleanup time, then I want to introduce you to the No Fuss, No Mess, Shape It Up cookbook. This is perfect for the non-chef who wants quick meals, minimal cleanup time, and a smaller waistline. Inside your cookbook includes healthy recipes with easy to find ingredients, time savers in the kitchen, easy cleanup, and most meals are made in one pot. Spend less time in the kitchen and more time doing the things that you love. The No Fuss, No Mess, Shape It Up cookbook, now available at amazon.com.